Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another Check Beats exclusive box. This box is from Craftica, and I'm going to have a link for this box down there below in the description bar in case you're interested in it. And I'm also going to have individual links to the materials I get in this box in case you just want a few things, a few beads from the box, but not the entire box, right? So let's open this. And by the way, I'm on cloud nine because I just opened this box and it was epic. There's four projects in this box. Necklaces, bracelets, and on top of that, there was a gift for a $20 coupon. So this one here is for December and it says Merry Christmas. All right, let's put that to the side. And here is everything in the box, 26 items. Okay, and I used to go over this list, but you guys asked me to put the links to what's in the box in the description bar. And since I spend so much time doing that, I don't really le read the list anymore. But I pretty much know what everything is. I, I know a lot of these beads, because I've been beading for almost my entire life. Alright, so here we have a gift. Got some Christmas gifts in here. Oh my gosh. So cute. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is cute. Last month, I think I got a Santa, but I wonder if everybody would get the same thing or a different thing. I don't know. That is adorable. Isn't that cute? You know you can put the glue on bales on the back of these and make them into pendants? That would be cute. Or earrings. Yeah. You know what? I have bale videos on how to make your own bale with wire. You can make earrings out of these. and It would be totally cute to have a Christmas tree and a snowman earring. They're kind of close in size. Those are adorable. And they are chunky, by the way. So chunky. And they're lightweight, so, so they would be perfect as earrings, because they're like made of resin. Oh, there's two of these in this bag. For a second, I did not realize that. I thought those were two bags. Alrighty, so... I'm going to put this here. And then we have sequins. And I have used sequins like several times to make jewelry back in the day before I had check glass beads when I was poor because I was a child. So that means I couldn't buy my own stuff. But anyways, I have made flower rings with sequins. And I used to make earrings all the time with sequins. So do you see how these have a hole in the middle? You can totally put a jump ring in there. Maybe a 6, 7, or 8 millimeter jump ring. And then connect that to thin chain to multiple snowflakes. And make earrings. I would do like a graduated length. So maybe like 4 snowflakes at different lengths on chains, thin chains with jump rings, and do some sh shepherd's hook earwires. There's a bunch here. They That would be so flashy. Very flashy earrings. Perfect for Christmas. So, there's an idea for that. And, will they go back in my bag? Oh yeah. They're very well behaved snowflakes. That's cool. And, you know, the regular sequins, I've seen those um, chained together in a stitch for a bracelet. And that was awesome. I can't remember what the stitch was. Okay, here they are in silver. So you can have silver and gold. Gold chain, silver chain. And, you know, do any of you have, like, the thin... Um, wow, that is just so bright and flashy. If you have thin chain in your stash, cut that up 
like a necklace chain and you can use that for this project like I've got a lot of thin chains that have like a broken glass so I end up cutting them up and I put jump rings on them and you can use them for that so hopefully you get an idea of what I'm talking about when I think of these designs all right so here we have a coupon I gotta look at it off screen okay and it does have inside the card Merry Christmas with love team Craftica that is so adorable so the Craftica box I have to show you had this card I'm not the Craftica the bone style box had this card aren't those cute they're both so darn cute so there's a coupon code here and I got this coupon code in the Bohem Style box and in the Craftica box. And the coupon says $20 gift for your next purchase. There's the code and the code secret because they're all individual. So you can't like put, use the code twice. And it says offer is limited and valid during two months only. Please specify coupon code on website www.craftica.shop during checkout process. You will get $20 off if your order total will be 40 or more. If you buy both of these boxes, you get a $20 off 40 or more purchase. That is so crazy. I have done hauls with those coupons in the past, and I'll put some pictures up of the awesome beads that I got for like just over $40 because of the, their $20 off. So I'll put some pictures up to give you some ideas of some of the amazing things that you can get on the site. And And also, you can go back and watch previous box openings of things that I've got in the box. So if you like want to reorder something, and even with the bone style, I link the codes below. If there's things that you want from the past, now is a great time to go and get them. So, anyways, let's go to the box. Um, sorry for talking so much. I realize when I get excited, I talk a lot. So these are Czech fire polish beads, and I think they are five millimeter. This is bronze. There's actually different shades of bronze. You know, sometimes they put bronze on black beads, on jet black beads, and it makes it appear darker. And so, I don't know what the base bead color is. I don't think it's clear. It looks like it's solid. Anyways, this is one of my favorite color beads to work with. I love that color. I do not have these in 5mm mustache. I have them in 3 And I don't know if I have any other size. I think it's just three. But I've used them a lot. I love those. Oh my gosh. Uh, Aztec melon. I've never seen these before. This is Aztec gold. Melon beads. These are six millimeter. How exciting. I'm so excited. It's such an awesome buy to get both of these boxes and get $20 coupons. And the Bohem style box had four projects in it. I don't know what they are going to be yet, but there's four classes in there. So I'm very excited. Can't wait to put that together. These are cubes. These purple. These are purple. So I just said that these bronze beads, they come in different shades. Like there'll be a black bead with bronze over it and that bead appears like a chocolatey um, metallic color. This one here, this bead is purple underneath. Like amethyst purple with bronze on top of it. You can see it in, um, well in good lighting that it's actually purple. It's like a vibrant purple. I don't know if you could tell my camera. Anyways, those are awesome. I love weaving with these. I can't remember if these are three or I can't remember if they're four millimeter, like three point five millimeter. But I have used these to make a set of jewelry. I did earrings with a matching pendant. If you missed that video, I'll put it up now.
that was a tutorial. You can go and watch that. And you can go to their website and buy these beads. I'm sure they have them in a ton of different colors and make that. Um, I might have also used these in other projects. So I'll have to go see through my pictures. Oh my gosh. I love these rondelles. I'm not a red person, but I love garnet and ruby colors. The dark ruby color in the Czech beads is so gorgeous. Those are beautiful. They look really nice with the bronze. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have the bronze color, but it's actually the, I think it's called Rain. It's like splatter marks, but it's metallic over top of this bead. This is a Czech bicone, and this kind of bicone is more elongated. It has really smooth holes, so it won't cut your thread. But do you see how the shape of it is more elongated than like a regular bicone? They're really nice quality. They're actually like Czech fire polish bicones. I guess that's how I, I would describe them. And I, is this Montana blue? I can't tell if it's Montana blue or gray, but it'll say it on the website. I totally forgot my scooper thing. Alrighty. I got this scooper thing so now I can pour this stuff in here. Okay. We have some gold leaf charms. Oh, wow. These are precious. Look at that. They are thicker than like um, a brass stamping, but that's the f back, that's the front. Look at the detail. Crazy detail. Those are really gorgeous. And I like the thickness of them. So those are awesome. Oh my gosh. Um, these are shaped like nuts. And I've got these before, but they were always a crystal clear with a metallic plating on them. I think this color is called Lava Red. It's really pretty. I have used this color, I think, maybe once or twice. I can't remember if it was a Super Duo or something else, but I think I used it in a bracelet. I'll have to check my pictures. It's so unique. It's very gorgeous. And then, flower beads. Um, this, I saw, I recently got this, and they're calling it a cherry blossom flower, but I kind of also know this as a forget-me-not. There's another forget-me-not bead that's really tiny. Super tiny. But this one does look more like a cherry blossom. I love these. I have used these before in a vine. I made a vine and I used them or it could be a branch I guess. It was a stitch I did with thread, seed beads and I, I made a, a flower vine. I use uh, seed leaves for the leaves, but you can also use check leaves. But at the time when I designed that, I did not own any check leaves, so that's why I didn't do it. I've come a long way. Anyways, oh my, these are rondelles. They're faceted like these, but they're tiny. They're super tiny. I think I have these in my stash in green. Only one color. Um, I'm not sure if this is Capri Blue or not. Come on, get in the tray.
Um, no, I don't think these are Capri Blue. I gotta put up the light. No, it's not. It's like a Montana Blue, which is a grayish blue color. It is super gorgeous. Those are beautiful. I really like those. And you know, you can use these in place of like 80 C beads because it's like the same with there. There is another one that's round. It's this size, but it's round. No facets. I've used that one, and I just got that in the Bohem Style Box in a gold color. Oh, wow. Look at these. Man, there's a bunch of rondelles in here so far, and I'm a rondel freak, so... I love it. Oh, this has Picasso. I didn't notice that when I saw it in the baggie. Those are pretty. Picasso's on the sides. Beautiful. And then, these are two hole. These beads are so darn cool. Every time I get these, there's a different pattern on it. I have some that have targets on them. Checkered pattern. One time I got one that was a yin yang. And I thought it was like painted or plating, but as I went to work with it, I realized that it was actually two different colors of glass formed together to make the yin yang pattern. I made a necklace with that bead. So see how it's two holes? You can use this same bead to make the necklace. I'll put a picture up of the necklace I'm talking about. That was a two hole bead. This same bead, just a different color, but it was yin yang pattern. So pretty. This one makes me think of reptiles. It looks like lizard skin. You can also make a ring with that if you want. And then, wow! I've got these before. These are really cool. This is not regular like iris. It's something different. You know, I think it might be called dicrylic. The, the dicrylic rainbow is prettier than regular AB or the iris, believe it or not. Like, I didn't think anything could top that, but look at that. So pretty. Now this bead looks like it's fully coated. I actually have a, this, this bead is black with this over top. I have a black beads with this on one side. So like an AB. This is not AB. I think it's that dicrylic coating on there, but it's fully coated. Those are gorgeous. Yeah. Amazing. Sometimes I feel like the white makes the camera want to go dark. So I kind of wish that tray was not white because it does that weird thing. Oh, I'll put that up there. Okay, now what? Wow. Okay, this is on the shopping list. Um, these are yellow teardrops with terracotta. That's what it's called. I finally remembered it. Finish over top. It's a permanent finish. The terracotta finish is actually kind of like the Picasso or the Travertine. It's permanent. It's just like bronze though. It's like a, it looks marbled, but they call it terracotta. Those are gorgeous. Now, I bought these, I think it was a Christmas haul with the coupons, in turquoise blue, but instead of bronze, it was like purple terracotta over top. So it comes in different colors. They are gorgeous. I love these for my flowers. I use those a lot in flowers. And then we have 5mm Check Fire Polish opaque white beads. So you can't see these in my tray. Look, I'm going to put them in here. And um, they're invisible, so you can't see them. 
you can see them on my hand. Pretty. Oh, and reminder, I have done several Christmas projects in the past. I did a snowman. I did holly earrings. I've done a jingle bell bracelet. That was so cute. What else? I've done multiple things. I can't remember. I'll put pictures up though for some inspiration. Alrighty, we have hearts here with roses on them. Come on, get out the baggie. This is so cute. I've seen these in a lot of colors. One of my favorites is the turquoise and gold. And I also like the black and gold, and there's white and gold that I've got them in. There's the whole. These are, I think these are actually acid washed. And then there's that coating over it, the metallic coating. Okay. And then more melon beads. These are 8mm Aztec Gold. So cool. Very nice. Oh look, this might be like a bronze, because that's definitely gold, but that's like bronze. Yeah. Okay, and then... Oh my gosh! These are Czech pearls, but with a snowflake pattern on them. Wow! How do they do this? How did it do that? So all pearls, all glass pearls look like that underneath. White. But somehow, he <laughs> put that design on there. That is so cool. That's really neat. I think these are 10 millimeter because those are 8. Yeah, so that's like a 10. We have a gold leaf. That's pretty. And we have those two. Th those look great together. The details are crazy. Look at the veins. Both sides. They're gorgeous. I didn't close that, did I? This is a primrose. I've got these before. And I love them so much that I went back and I bought more. Probably in a Christmas haul. There was a necklace that we got with the Bohem Style Box that had... Was it these? Yeah. These, I think it was. And Fuchsia Pink. So this bead is opaque white with AB on both sides, and it has a blue wash, but they also come in fuchsia. And I went and bought more because I love them so much. They're so pretty. And again, this flower is called a primrose.
New row. I need to look at the camera more. I keep looking down because I look at the camera and I try to move and I'm not moving normal <laughs> in the camera so I have to look down so I can move properly. These are the same, different color. These are bronze. Those are gorgeous. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, I've got this bead before. Um, I think I got it in a Bohem style in white. Or beige. Beige is gorgeous, man. Anyways, we use it in a necklace sign. This one's actually called a poinsettia flower. There's the hole. It's a pretty large bead. It is so gorgeous. I think this bead came out last year. And then, oh my gosh, we got four millimeter green turquoise. There is another uh, blue, they call it turquoise, and it's the color that's on this flower, but this one's called green turquoise, and it has AB on it, but it's half AB, not full coat, full millimeter. Check for polish beads. They're gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, and then more primroses. This color is so pretty. I actually wanted to go buy it, or did I? I wanted to go back and buy this color, but I don't remember if I did. If I put my beads away too soon, I forget, you know, that I had bought them. But if I leave them out, then I remember. It's kind of weird. Leave them out, let them go stale, and then put them away. If I put them away fresh, I forget about them. So, it is like turquoise with that blue wash over it. Same blue color. And then, oh my gosh, I think these are called... Oh, what is it called? Not cloud bead. Oh, what's it called? I know the name of this. I just can't remember it. These come in a bunch of colors. And they're really pretty. The necklace that had these primroses in it came with these in the same color. And it was just so pretty. They make me think of the fancy acrylic beads. Okay, a lot of stuff. We're running out of space. Oh, wow. This is a lava red, this color, but in an 8 millimeter melon. That's pretty. It's really nice. I wonder what the base color is. Like, this is something, a coloring that's put on there, but, like, what is the color underneath? I wonder if it's, like, white or clear. It has to be matte, right, to do that? I'm thinking. What's the last thing? Oh, my gosh. This is very exciting. This is 3 millimeter Lava Red Check Drugs. I love 3 millimeter Check Fire Polish and Drugs for weaving with. And there's a good amount here that I can make something with. Yeah. Look at those. It makes you think of holly berries. Very cute. Here is everything we are getting in this month's Check Beats exclusive box. And don't forget, 
we are also getting a $20 coupon off of a $40 purchase or more. So again, right now is the best time to go get the Check Beads exclusive box and the Bohem style box because both boxes have $20 coupons off of a $40 purchase or more and you have to do two separate orders if you get both boxes in order to use the coupon because you can only use one coupon code for one purchase. But oh my gosh, it is such an awesome deal. You're getting an awesome amount and amazing quality of check last beads here and charms. And the Bohem Style Box had four projects and I saw four classes in there. Three lobster claws and a gorgeous um, spring ring class, the really big ones. They're nautical looking so they call them like mariner class or a bull class. But anyways, right now is the perfect time, the best time to get both boxes because you get multiple projects in one box. This one here has a whole bunch of materials in it and you get two $20 coupons. And shipping is cheap on this site and you get a lot of stuff. What an awesome deal. So this is it. I hope that you found this video helpful. I hope that you find my videos inspirational because I just love to help share ideas. It's so much fun. It is my passion to bead and share this stuff with you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link the box down there below if you want to go and get it and you will get your $20 coupon and do both boxes because it is the best deal right now to do both of them. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and also I'm going to link all of these. So if you just want like a few beads here and there, you know, to buy on the site, um, I will also link all the materials here down there below in individual links. So you will see everything down there. And this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos and follow me on my social media sites. I'm on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.